blast off. I said that like two weeks ago and it was kind of funny thing to say after that opening. Um, you saw two names flying through space and they are in the building, but they're getting uh, prepped and ready to roll. <laughs> ready to roll because um, we got to put microphones on them and stuff. The uh, Uber traffic for a 615 Pacific time show Wait. is bad. Shut up back there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so he's getting ready. They're getting both getting ready, but you saw the names, right? It's going to be a, a super fun show. Uh, when it turns 620, it'll be 420 somewhere. Ding! 420 somewhere. We've got uh, Hawaii will be celebrating uh, 420 with us live uh, in four minutes. So that's... Uh, Pretty exciting. Some other small islands in the Pacific, you know, like Kiribati. <laughs> it really says like Kiribati, like that's, that's the example that we go, of course, there's Kiribati. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. And then in the AM for some crazy people in like Helsinki, Finland and Athens, Greece, you know, they're up all night worrying about their economy. So you might as well Smoke a bowl at 4.20 a.m. Johannesburg, Cape Town, South Africa, Zimbabwe. It's crazy that it's 4.20 a.m. for all those folks. And it looks like he's coming in. The gentlemen are coming into the arena. We don't have a play on music for you guys, but we can all applaud hey. for Open Mike Eagle and John DiMaggio. Hello, sir. Hey, buddy. Hey, Welcome. Bro. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you as well. I'm happy to say that the rapper was here on time. Yeah, yeah, well. That's an exciting occurrence. All I got is, when all that I got goes is, down. I got the 405. Yeah, I'm the only rapper that lives in the neighborhood, so. Oh, you live close you. by? Yeah, I do. Oh, all right. So there it is. That works out great. I'm coming from the valley and shit. You guys, this is a uh, couple of first timers we have on yes, our hands man. here. Yes. I'm, I'm excited that uh, you yeah. have been bugging about this I know, thing and I've been like, for two uh, years. No, I'm, <laughs> and then finally I was like, hey, yeah, I'm you're an like, idiot. what about the children? Yes, yes, yeah, exactly. Like, That's my, that was my whole worry. And then I was like, the kids aren't going to watch them. What the hell am I yeah. talking about? Well, so people, so the people know you're you're voicing a million things, yeah. and you're in a motion picture that they could watch called Voice in My Head. No, 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 no. It's a, no. I know that voice. I know that voice. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> the voice is in my head. What's that? Oh, that's Judd Apatow's book. I yeah, think. Yes, that's right. Uh, I know that voice is uh, a, a movie, uh, a documentary all about uh, voice cartoon voiceover, voiceover yeah. Uh, people. Yeah, and it was lots of great ones. You know, Vicky yeah. and the Brain. Or yeah, yeah, all all of them. They, yeah, I got every and, I got everybody. Just, yeah, I, the only people I didn't get was. Uh, Frank Welker, who does everything, like the yeah. original Freddy on Scooby Doo, and Tress McNeil. Like he's one of the people listed, like as ET. No, and he's like he's really one of, he's big. I, ones. I think he's actually the highest grossing grossing actor in Hollywood. Like he's been involved in everything. <laughs> hey, there it is. Oh, hey, 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 he made it. It's nineteen. He made it. Frank Welker is representing. Pow. <laughs> That's not his voice. I know, um, but uh, that but... means it's 19 minutes after the hour, so we have to start smoking in a minute. Okay. So we'll talk more about. Uh, I want to talk sure. more about uh, you and the children. Yes. But we've got uh, today's strains are provided by Sequoia Wellness Delivery. A uh, gentleman from there is here, and the fucking guy has got Adventure Time tattoos. No shit. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, see, that's yeah. Isn't that, that good? That's a I'm crazy. Right place, and there's and a friend of ours uh, here at the show that works for Jash is. Uh, She's got a, a bender tattoo on her arm. Right. Uh, so you have to yes. sign that today. Yes, yes. And uh, it's our right. sativa from those nice folks over on the west side of Los Angeles, they delivered to Hollywood, Palisades, and Mar Vista. They brought some strawberry banana as the mm. sativa. It's like oh, a look smoothie. at you. Oh, I'm all over like this. Your, I'm, I'm all over like this. Like we're making the weed version of Sideways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I always say this one wrong. The indica is. I'm not smoking any Jack Herrera, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm not smoking any. Sorry. That was good. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. Okay. Instead of uh, the wine that the Giamatti Mer is screaming Merlot. about. Merlot. Uh, Heroana, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Like heroin wana? Like that's how strong it is? Yeah. <laughs> like green heroin. All right, heroin. 
We got some marijuana on the table too. If you guys want to go that deep, do you I'm go not, that? No. Yeah, I don't do you go that deep, deep open, that, Mike? That's not. That doesn't sound like a place people should go. It, yeah. <laughs> it sounds, yeah. It's too deep. Yeah. Nobody mm. needs the. I'm with you on but that. But also, isn't there a green crack? Also, like yeah, the nah, crazy yeah. With the I'm, I'm, I'm all right with the green crack. It's, it's too much. Uh, so, uh, what's going on with you, uh, Open Mike Eagle? What do you got? Uh, uh, feeling a little underrepresented right in the now. tattoo department around here. Right, yeah, that's why for sure. Yeah, yeah. Somebody. What should people put on themselves to represent you? I don't know, but just grab a sharpie and do something do quick. Do something. You know what I mean? Yeah, make somebody me feel comfortable make in this here. guy feel like he's not here. sitting next to oh, the all, all world's all most leading what? They're, they're all packed. Yeah, we pre packed them all with the sativa because we assume that you've that's got things my, to do my, tonight. So yes, what's, I do. What's the difference between Sadiva and in? I never can figure out the difference. Really? I just get high. Really? I just get really high. Yeah, me either too. way. Like so, no, I don't know. I, I'm a Sativa guy. In, what's, Indica. What's the, well, Indica is a real is a real body high, and the and the Sativa is a bright like brainy high. Okay. Like, Indica, they say, in, in the couch. In the couch, yeah. Huh? Because you're just easiest way to remember. Right. It's like Indica's at night, Sativa's during the day. That's what they say, and the the, the Indica's good for pain. Actually, they're all good for pain. Um, but which one is, so they're all, they're all, huh? They're yeah. all good. They're all, <laughs> they're all good for pain and they're all good. They're all good. Like which, just which, which one's not makes that? things the better. No, which one's not the, that? The, the, the no, we didn't load any heroin. Heroin <laughs> <laughs> is standing by and I'll probably just, I'll probably okay. snort it later. <laughs> should, I, should I light up for, Oh, uh, I, and I've for, been talking uh, for two minutes and now Hawaii? it's too late. Uh -oh. We yeah. have to wait until 7.20. <laughs> yeah, Yo, go ahead, here. smoke, 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 smoke. So I just grab one of these mm -hmm. two. Whatever you like. We got some uh, pens from our friends at uh, Honey Farm, still not available nas nationally, <laughs> but uh, still delicious. Very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. That's a fun pipe yeah, too, nice the, uh, the old the, bubbler the, the there. The bubbler. Yeah. You got the bubbler there. That's a good one. Listen, if you're gonna do a bunch of crazy voices, I'm not. I need you to step out. Yeah, really? <laughs> Freaking you out? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't handle it. No, that's okay. No, I love it. You I, know that's what you know what they call they call uh, water fountains in in northern New England, <laughs> bubblers. Just go over there, get a drink from the bubbler. <laughs> and yeah, stupid. I don't know. That's a nice little. Oh, yeah, finish it. Yeah, finish it. Um, we do a segment on the show. I'm good. All of our segments have like musical stings, you know, like when I say it's 420 somewhere, you suddenly hear uh, Linda from Bob's Burgers saying, Ding, 420 somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. So yeah, so now, of course we got it while you're here, we got to get a Bender one. Yeah, you And will. the segment we don't have uh, a sting for, a sound bite, a thing like that, a drop, if you will, mm -hmm. is for a segment we do called High History, where we ask you questions about when you started Smoking. Ooh. So what's like a bender catchphrase that could also have the words high history? Like what's your high history and then an ins one of his typical insults? Um, God, he, I think maybe he would say something like, I'm gonna have my whole own high history with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> In fact, forget the blackjack. It's too long, it's too long. I know, it's long. way too long. <laughs> He's so long-winded, that no, robot. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. It's just, you know. All right, Joe, you can think about it. We don't have to do it right, okay, good. right this second. I'm going to figure it out. We don't have to commit to anything right away. All right, away. all right. Let's smoke already. Oh, let's oh. smoke already. Let's smoke already! That's a good one right there. Yeah. yeah that's, yeah, sorry. That was it. Did we Appreciate get it? it? I'm sorry, good. I'm sorry, no, guys. I felt that in my body. So, yes, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm glad I could follow the command yeah, yeah, right you, now. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, so... Uh, Open Mike Eagle, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, is, um, uh, you know, like I mentioned earlier, a rapper, but mm. also, uh, it's uh, it's not all comedic, is it? Is it basically all of the rapping? comedy or no. No. Kind, of, kind of fun, just fun? Yeah, some, sometimes, sometimes yeah. it's dark and sad and shit, too. Oh, um, all right. You know, it's uh, it's all over the place. And what's your, your podcast, Secret Skin, what's yeah. that, uh, what do you get into on uh, that? I talk to rappers and comics and writers as creators. It's an interview show and uh, try to get at whatever stuff people might be going through that they don't get a chance to talk about, kind of give them a chance to push their own narrative. Their feelings. Yeah. We don't get to talk feelings in hip hop enough. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Master at work. Yeah. Wow. Right? Yeah, you're getting it done. That's what I do, <laughs> son. It um, 
I get it done, son. Would you like to hear my impression um, of a bong hit? I would love it. All right, this is this is a go. Bit of, this has been a long time. Do you have to take a sip of water first? No. That's how I do it. Billy, if you did that behind a closed door, though, I think you were jerking off. Yeah, like really fast. <laughs> <laughs> that too, all of it. That, that, that was good. good. It's good, right? That was good. Thank maybe, you. Maybe add a little cough at the end. No. Because you took no. that hit really well. No, like, it's, it's, that, it's interesting no. that when you If you you're go back for another one, that's that whole when you thing. cough. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have to get somebody's like, do that again. And then you add the cough. I just always I just always did it this way. There you go. You ha that's it takes no talent. That's a, <laughs> See, he's all talented over here. I'm just like. That's a smaller bong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was a little thin, like. Oh, listen to that. That's the little plastic, the little <laughs> plastic one you had in college that you hid in the closet that the, that always stunk up the room. What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was your first time? Uh, How are you? My first, well, uh, my father introduced the clan to the, uh, to the to the to the to the to the weed. Long time ago, and well, that's uh, a weird story. Yeah. <laughs> Your father taught the KKK. Yes, yes, yes. He did. He totally got high. He introduced them to the, the world. Week. Birch Is society. that why we hear from them less these days? They're yeah, just, yeah, they're just yeah. happy in their sheets yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. He's down in Florida. Uh, no, he. Um, no, he used to. He used to smoke with his friends, and he. His reasoning was that he. He didn't want us going out on the street and smoking something that was out on the street that he mm. didn't know what it was, so he, and like my sisters, my oldest sister was like in high school and partying and it was the fucking 70s. And so I was very young, but I remember once finding a roach in the bathroom and I smoked it and I was about nine or 10. It was like, I was young and I ended up, like my sister came in after me and she was like, did you smoke pot in it? Oh my God, you're in such trouble. You're in total trouble. And I was like, no, 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 oh my God, please. And you're high. Oh, you're high, child. As, high as shit. It was a hot summer day. Jeez. And I'm like, oh my God. And I ran into my room and shut the door. And I'm like, I gotta hide. Like I was completely out of my, it was like, I gotta hide. I go into my closet where the winter comforter is and I hide under that. Like three, three and a half hours later, <laughs> my family, my parents are like, Holy the shit, they left for a trip to Where Paris and then you were home alone. Where the, Where the hell is John? <laughs> He's like, late there, he asked my sister, like, where is he? And she was like, um. And she didn't say anything. Oh. That's the worst part. She didn't say shit. She was just like, <laughs> and she was just like, went and like, I don't know, listened to records or some shit. I don't know what she did, but. She did not tell my family. Remember how we used to listen to records? Oh, records. Yeah. Record albums. I'm gonna put a record album on. Record albums. And so I was oh, in there. Get so up they and turn the record so over. They, so they look all around the house and then they, they find me in there and they wait. I'm covered in sweat. It's like, cause it's like a, it's like 500 degrees in the closet. <laughs> yeah, you're high. And I'm high and <laughs> I'm just child. like it. And I'm a child, I'm like 10 years old and like, Oh God, and yeah, they were like, what'd you do? And I was like, and I was laughing and crying at the same time. I was like, I smoked it, it was funny. <laughs> ah. oh. It was just, I kept going back and forth and they just put me to bed. Yeah, I was rough, it was rough. My mother was none too pleased. <laughs> My mother was not fucking happy at all. Mike, what's your first time? Oh man, the first time I smoked, uh, I didn't get high at all. I was like in eighth grade, we just all, we, we ran and found a river somewhere. It was in Chicago. I don't even understand where this took place. But um, yeah, we went and we cut school or some shit and, and we smoked and I think everybody else was high, but nothing happened for me that first time. Yeah? I didn't get really, really, really high until the first time I smoked when I was in college. And uh, I don't know what it was about this particular joint, but all I can remember is me and a buddy of mine. Uh, similar to you, he was standing in the middle of our dorm room at, at one point with his blanket wrapped around him, uh, saying, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to bed. And um, I lied on my bed, and this is the first time I ever really remember being high. There was this LL Cool J tape playing. We went and bought an LL Cool J tape from the campus record store or whatever. And uh, I was just like fantasizing videos to the songs as they played in my head. I was just completely lost in creating videos in my mind. 
for these old school rap songs. And then that was when I was high the first time, for real. That's, yeah, that's a much better story. I like no, that. It's I not. can't. I couldn't I like tell you I, uh, anything about the first time I got. High. <laughs> <laughs> it's been that long. Oof. Uh, well, I mean, I could. I think I could pinpoint like a you know a state that I was you know California. Yeah. With some other comedians, I know who the comedians were, like uh, Posein and Proops. Right. Uh, up in the Bay Area, but. Yeah, because when I tried it in high school, I've told this story before, but it just didn't, you know, I didn't do it right, didn't work. And then those guys hooked me up when I was like 28. Oh, there you go. Yeah. But I made up for lost time, yeah, you guys. Yeah, late, late I really, bloomer. I've really late bloomer. I've gone nonstop except bringing, for a month you may have heard about. Bringing the hammer. Yeah, man. Let's look at, we do a thing on here called the State of Pot. And the idea behind that is that we can track... We could track um, who's watching this show, the most uh, per capita. Uh, and Washington, D.C. kicks everybody's ass. Every week, They the, the every episode, they are the people that are most, you know, this is the fifth time in a row, their 21st win since we've been keeping track of this stuff. Wow. And uh, yeah, in D.C., they're just, they're watching this show. And you know, when I say they, I mean, you know, a good probably Eight or nine hundred of them, <laughs> but per capita, that kills. Yeah, you know, that, sure. that makes it happen. Uh, and then the top four, the the final five are always all the places where it's super legal and California, Oregon, Washington, Colorado, California. Those people are watching. But here's my question for you guys: We're gonna do a pot quiz, hop shots. Boom, 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 The first person. Who can name one of the states? Just you could just name as many states, both of you at the same time. You could take turns if you're, you know, if you're all polite and high. Uh, but first person who can name one of the states, one of the five bottom states, watching this program. The last episode was me, by myself, just sitting here getting high and talking to the camera. Mississippi. Wyoming. Number one, the number one <laughs> bottom, which is weird. Was ah. that, does that make it yeah. number five or number yeah. one? Uh, but yeah, Mississippi, you nailed it right away. Which one did you say? I said Wyoming. Wyoming did not uh, make that cut, but it's probably not far behind. Uh, Alabama, South Carolina, Louisiana, and Arkansas. The old Bible Belt. Yeah, just, they're not, yeah. They're not, they're not down with the cause. No, they're, just they're not, not. And they just, it's just, the people there would love it. But not necessarily this show, but marijuana. <laughs> if they just, yeah. you know what I mean? If they just give it a chance or they're all just so closeted about their use of it. Every time I go to the South, I have a blast. I meet plenty of stoners yeah. and they're all, they're not too bummed about being there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, everybody wants there's, legal everywhere. You know? Yeah. Well, there's, there's good stuff everywhere, isn't there? Everybody else, do you ever, wa have you ever watched the show? I've watched a little bit of it. Yeah, but yeah. You, have you ever seen this guy? No. Has this guy ever come out? No. I've Take a hold it. of that. Tell me what you think of that. <laughs> it's pretty great. It's a monkey. Yeah. It's the They're year. Halfway of, home. It's the year of the monkey. It's a. What is it? It's a lighter, so be careful because the flame comes out of the top of his head. Hey. Okay. As Pete Holmes says, it's a monkey in caveman day, I, a days. What? Am I going to break an this? Idea. It doesn't oh. work great anymore because people have been. Fucking with it? Yeah. But like, what, like what I do yeah, with it? I mean, we're not going to be able to light anything with it, I mean, but like, we never do anyway. Cause it's I mean, just a, another minute, I might have put this in my ass. I, I, don't think, it's, to... I think it's inappropriate <laughs> for children. What, I mean, what, I, think it's, I think it's like something children would want to play with, and then that happens. You know, the fucking flames shooting out of its head. It's like one of the products that Dan Aykroyd would have when he was... Uh, you know, in those sketches on uh, Saturday Night Live where he was, uh, they were saying his products were all dangerous. Yes. All right, come on, the kids yeah, love yeah. bag of glass. Bag of glass. Bag of glass. Come on, this thing, the kids love it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's got a hashtag on the internet. But let me, let me, let me let, 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 hold on to it for a second there. When, when you first told A little heavier on, than you think There it we is, go. You know? yeah. Hashtag heavy monkey. It's a little weighty. Heavy monkey. I got to do this mm. real quick. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. That and thing. we will be right back. We'll see you in a minute.
It's time to talk CISO. CISO is a premium comedy streaming channel. S-E-E-S-O. It's on demand, 24-7 streaming comedy, anytime, anywhere. It's curated for the comedy connoisseur. You know who you are. Original series, quotable classics, next day, late night, stand-up specials, and more. It's only $3.99 a month. No joke. No ads. Ad-free. Countless hours of premium HD comedy. Never before seeing new originals. New comedy added every week. Try it now for free. All you gotta do is start as a guest. No credit card needed. They've got lots of great content, including the UCB show. You've heard me talk about the UCB theater in New York and LA, and how I love all the people involved in those places, and I have them on my shows all the time. Well, the UCB show is a weekly variety sketch showcase from the original founders of the Upright Citizens Brigade, Amy Poehler, Matt Matt Walsh, Matt Besser, and Ian Roberts. I've smoked with a few of them. I'm not going to lie to you. And you're going to love their show, and you're going to love CISO. Go to CISO.com and start watching all the comedy you can stream for free. CISO.com. Stream free today. No credit card needed. Back to the show. Welcome back to Get It Done. I was just saying, I think people hearing that twice in the show just gets, uh, drags things down a little bit. <laughs> hey, if you're feeling dragged just giving down. Just giving producer notes while I'm on doing the live show. <laughs> if you're but feeling dragged what down. What do you got here, John? It's a, it's a bottle of Jumbo. Oh, shit. So, so here's what happens from now on on the show whenever because guests so it's always sitting here and guests will go what is this and then you hit the button jumbo <laughs> <laughs> nice. that'll be hilarious what is what is jambo doing oh anyway right it's uh jambo it's yeah. a spray uh that's got uh in it, this it's, case it's, it's removed it's, the thc it's yeah it's a cbd spray and it's got like a hundred milligrams of uh whatever that would be and it's got a peppermint oil in it too. It doesn't taste too bad, and uh, it seems to work pretty good. I always do it here while I'm also smoking all this other stuff, so it's hard to really judge how high this would work individually. Well, it's, it, mm. it doesn't get you high good. though, because they really removed the THC from that. It's for pain. It's really good. Right, right, right. It's more that's of, a, stuff, it's more of a, a dulling sensation than a, than a high. Yeah, no, it, 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 it helps. It helps uh, yeah, it helps people with seizures and stuff like that. Sure. Oh, and it just helps me at parties because my breath is, is just <laughs> is just delightful That's after most... I try some jumbo. <laughs> what a professional! Like yeah, I just you know. snuck up with you on that, and you just jumped right there in. There you go. Two thousand three hundred ninety-three people are watching us right now. Hello. Live. Shout out! That's like a big. That's a big. When they get to twenty four hundred, we should do something special. So there's yeah. there's no take backs at this no. point, you guys. <laughs> no party. This is serious. <laughs> I'm serious though. Don't fuck around, man. I'm serious. Uh, too. Yeah, please hit something else because they the message board calls us pussies if we don't. Really? I'm, I yeah. don't mind. Call me a pussy. I don't. And I, don't I, care. I can't. I can't be a pussy today because. Care. People are mad at me for calling Donald Trump a pussy. Really? Who's <laughs> mad? Seriously? Well, you know, dumb people. Um, but <laughs> Yeah, totally. But, I mean, even people like Trump has got to admit, it's a pretty pussy move that he can't talk to Megyn Kelly and not be a sexist asshole while well, he's yeah, doing but, it. I mean, he also, just the fact that if he's going to... If he's gonna face down ISIS, why can't he face down fucking Megyn Kelly? That's ridiculous. So what happened? He's a fucking asshole. Is this why That's he's not on the debate he's tonight? A, he's a piece of He doesn't want to do the debate shit. because Megyn Kelly treated him unfairly, which he's been whining about ever since it happened months ago, and he's number one in the polls. Uh, that's all he talks about is how he hates Megyn Kelly, and he's number one in the polls. Like he doesn't say anything about uh, any issues other than you know building a wall, and Mexico is gonna pay for it. So anyway. Uh, I don't want this to be a political show, especially when they could just view the debate in, in a little while. Because <laughs> right. I'm, I'm interested in that debate, because it'll be interesting to see them all. They're still going to mention Trump. It's, he's going oh, yeah, no, to weird, he's he's another the weird move oh, that he does. That elevates him. It just keeps elevating him. Every weird yeah. thing he does. Just the way, just look at his Twitter feed. The way he interacts with people. Oh, he's like, you can't imagine Obama Bush on his drunkest day. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. imagine any of it. Yeah. Bush coked out of his Bush, mind wouldn't Bush, write the shit that Bush Trump is writing. Bull. 
Bush on an eight ball wouldn't write that shit. Yeah, it's <laughs> insane. It's so not presidential. It's which, TV shit. He's a TV you star, know, man. Maybe, yeah. He's yeah. like manipulating the media, man. He's good at We're that getting shit. what we pay it's for on that. Yeah, yeah, we are. It's a television you villain. Know? And Arnold Schwarzenegger's only taken over Apprentice because now he thinks that's a stepping stone to the presidency. That's... And I bet you Trump would try to do an executive, uh, <laughs> an executive order, uh, executive action that would make uh, you don't have to be a citizen, uh, you don't have to be born here to be president. Let it and go. then Schwarzenegger is in. Let it go. That's a pretty Let good go. theory. That's a scary. It's a pretty sweet. <laughs> Let it go. Yeah, we're trying to have a nice time. <laughs> We're trying to get high with a cartoon dog. There you go. Exactly. And listen to them say some fun things. Yes. Go. <laughs> um. How's the doggy talk? I don't. I'm, <laughs> I apologize. Doggy. I hear the show's great, but I've never seen. <laughs> it's. I've never it's seen right. a dog show. The show is. Uh, the show. Well, you you do yeah, a thing. You know, I have an entire podcast devoted to to that show. That's so With awesome. John Mo, yeah. yeah That's how I got and, the idea to bring you guys to, I together. Talked to, I yeah. talked to John. Because <laughs> we booked you, right. and I said, and then I texted you, yeah. and said that we were going to do an episode of this show where Open Mike Eagle and I talk about what a pussy you are. Yeah, exactly. And then you were like, oh, you know, now that you mention it, I'll come on. <laughs> <laughs> so it was that not, easy. It I'm was not, that I'm easy. Just call you a pussy, which is not a typical yeah. behavior of me. No, uh, no, no. <laughs> I was just being silly because I thought you'd still be pretty steadfast in your no, no thank I you. No, changed, I changed my mind. I said, you know what, it's all good. And the, I mean, well, what I'm about a patient, this? so it's all good. You know what I mean? <laughs> what do you both think of this? What? Uh, so do you perform high often? Yeah. Always? Prefer to. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah, it is. And the crowd expects nothing less. Um, right, they're sort well, of they're I don't, down they, with I don't it. know if they have expectations either way. Right, right. I don't right. think they know. Right. <laughs> you know I mean? Doesn't I'm matter. I mean, you thing. seem pretty chill and not, uh, you know, you can handle a lot. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, Which you know, I focus, me. I focus on uh, singing good shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing is that for you, it's a, it's good. To, uh, I imagine it's a combination of relaxer and focuser. Yeah, at the it same is. time. Yeah, it is. You know. But it's still Absolutely. so exciting that, you know, that especially like music wise, I can see why a lot of people in music are high because when there's a big crowd that's that cheering and into and knows your stuff, mm -hmm. you know, it's like riding a wave, you know, whereas comedy, like a lot of comedians don't do it high because shit's going to come at you that's right. like not... <laughs> You know, it's random. Yeah, right? but, yeah, right. true. And then, you know, how you deal with it when you're high. I mean, I'm used to being high on stage, so it's, you know, I just deal with it. But it's a, I was it's very, different. When I was doing stand-up. You had a partner. Back in the 90s. Yeah, he was a part of a duo. I that's what I, I, partner, that's I first then, met John. Yeah, that's right. We did a week in Vegas. Mm -hmm. What was you the were, duo? You were doing that, you were doing that uh, Hoover Dam joke. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, Can't perform in Vegas without doing it, although no, I just did. Yeah, there you go. I've forgotten to do the... You forgot to do the Hoover Dam joke. My classic Vegas... No, the, the name of the act is called Red Johnny Narangai. We, okay. we were in New York City for a while and then <laughs> broke you up. You had an MTV show? We had an MTV show. We had all sorts of shit going yeah. on. And then it just tanked. Because <laughs> I know. didn't mean to bring that up. That's all right. It's so totally but, fine. But so when you were on stage, though, you also had another guy, and your shit right. was tight as hell. Yeah, like it was. Then, you were like, then, you were white rapping. Yeah, kind but of. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we we did. We like I would beatbox. He would rhyme. Also, oh, yeah, yeah, rapping. yeah, okay. yeah. What's it called? We were Red Johnny and the Round Guy. We were like, all that shit. you could, you could, you could Google it. And it's I like, can't hear the expression "living check to check." There you go. Without fucking having your melody. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they say yeah, that we, a had a, we had a bunch of we had a bunch that's of songs. Yeah, I'm sorry to interject, but that's the name of my new single. That's really weird. What? It's called what? <laughs> Living check, check to check. Yeah, that's I, funny. This is also weird because well, it's not weird. I'm just an idiot. Because when I saw that I on your stuff that you had a single called that, I sang his fucking song <laughs> in my head. Yeah, I didn't did. make any connection. That's really funny. <laughs> that's really funny. Um, so what do you think about, you've, you're doing this here in this basement, which is a very warm environment and an extra big crowd today, which is nice, um, because people want you to sign their bodies. <laughs> 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 but what do you think about doing this same format where you just get high and we chat and play games and stuff in front of an audience of like, uh, what is the Alex Theater seat? Do we know? 1300. 
1,300 people. <laughs> Plus live, that's, plus live that's, streaming. That's pretty crazy. The whole thing. That's pretty crazy. And Eric Andre might bring a dog. And it's that, that would be a really. St He's not stinky theater. <laughs> that that theater will reek. Well, the audience will just have to use vape pens because California law yeah. you can't light things on fire in a theater. Yeah, <laughs> only if you're on stage in a show. We're, no, we're gonna have volcano uh, bags. Oh, there you but go. That's the, the audience can't have that because they can't plug in anywhere. There you go. There it is. So yeah, so there is a there is a divide between us and the audience, but also I hope people would just arrive high mm -hmm. and eat some edibles. And yeah, yeah. you know, step outside if they need to, because the whole thing's being recorded for archival purposes. So you can see it later if you miss part of it. Archival. I just think it's gonna be a fun experience to be. We've done it in front of audiences of three hundred people. That's well, and one hundred. You're gonna people. have fun. But this is thirteen hundred people. That's gonna be huge. Yeah. So, that's April twentieth. Tickets are on sale now at bitly.com slash GWGT. Nice job. <laughs> Way to go, bro. Slash GDWH420. That's a tough one, right? <clears throat> Getting dug with high. Getting dug with high, 420. Mm -hmm. That's all. The bitly. You can't com. write the whole thing out. You got to yeah. do GDWH420. Tickets are first come, first serve. So the earlier you buy, the closer you'll be to uh, getting a contact high from us blowing it in your face. Can I come hang out? Dude, uh, I was sort of inviting both of you to participate, oh. but you don't have to say yes or no right now. I know a lot, April 20 is a big day for all of us. Uh, <laughs> so it, there's lots of options, but yeah, we'd love to have you in the audience or on the stage. I would love to be yeah. there. I, I, will you know, have to, yeah, I, mean, I, I would love to be there. I will have to check my schedule. Yeah. But I, you know, that's I just Thanks. realized that's how we should book this thing. Because now everyone's like, those guys might be there. That's great, and we won't say whether or not you're actually going to show up. We'll do that behind the scenes. That's, yes. Yeah. So the chance that you're going to be there. I might. There's every goddamn person in that audience is going to have a tattoo of a doggy or a tin can. I'll bring my sharpie. <laughs> Because on Adventure Time, you're a dog, right? Yeah. OK, good. I'm a dog, and yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. starting to feel like I was even wrong about that. <laughs> nah, yeah, no. You know, like, oh, you doggy. <laughs> hey, man, I'm a talking fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some pot topics. OK. Pot topics. Um, <laughs> Florida. That's enough about them. Yeah. Uh, in Georgia, no. Uh, I just started getting into it, and it's complicated, but uh, there's a group pushing for marijuana legalization in Florida that's called United for Care. And uh, they're going to have another chance to, they're the same people that uh, tried in 2014. And you know, you need a super majority in uh, Florida yeah. uh, on these uh, initiatives. So it, it failed with like 58%. Uh, and uh, in other places where it's now legal to smoke weed, it passed with 55 or less. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, so Florida got so close. And I would love, I would be so happy if Florida w was legal because I, I love uh, theme parks and warm weather. Um, yeah, and an occasional awful, they just had some really bad bad wind. They had like cars were flipped and stuff. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, but anyway, they say they're going to be back on the ballot in November. So good for you, Florida. Keep up the good work. Right. Uh, Georgia, a bill submitted to the Georgia legislature would lower the penalty for marijuana possession from a felony to a misdemeanor. That's good. It's not great. But right now, any, anything Georgia, more though. than an ounce is a felony. That's so I, I'm glad I'm always, I always think I have less than an ounce on me, right? I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to check all your pockets. <laughs> uh, so anyway, possession would be a misdemeanor. And oh, man, but that misdemeanor can be a year in jail or a thousand dollar fine. So remind me to not get caught in Georgia no. st still. I thought Georgia was, as soon as I saw that it was a, that it was a pot topic, I was uh, excited that, you know, that uh, it was going to pass. Because I love Atlanta. I love playing Atlanta. Yeah. Atlanta's a Atlanta's fun town. Yeah. Athens is cool. I had never been to Athens. What? I played Athens one time and it was terrible. Really? Yeah, but that's only because my show was the first day of the University of Georgia, like their home football game. Oh yeah. So it was oh. just yeah, that shit. Like no, yeah. no sensible people came. You play out. college oh, town no. when their when their team is playing. Yeah. Fucking, you're just gonna get 
some sweet pussy. Because <laughs> the girls don't care. <laughs> no, everybody in that school is just all about that. Yeah, all, all the about time. the Uber Which is fun in its own way, I guess. Not if you're going to town to work, though. That's... Yeah, no. yeah, you know, Athens has that reputation for having like some hip people, you know. Yeah. Just they didn't come outside that day at all. <laughs> they stayed home. They were not apparent. Yeah. Yeah, people, uh, you know, the NFL's got a real grip on uh, Sundays. They even say that in that movie, Concussion, uh, Albert Brooks says uh, <laughs> the NFL owns the day of the week. Yeah, they say it used to belong to church. And I think it was yeah. just a Yeah, wow. What, uh, do you do a celebrity impressions as well, or are you mostly just character voices? Um, no, I can do some, some impressions. Yeah? Yeah. What's a good, what's, like, can you do Nick Nolte? <clears throat> Um, you've already got oh, hell, goddamn son of a bitch. <laughs> I Reggie. ask, I ask because you already, Come on, have, Reggie. already oh, got the costume man. on. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you've oh, already got hell, the multi God. going everywhere. Oh, goddamn it. <laughs> the this best goddamn like, partner I ever had. I'm sitting next to Cannery Row, Nick Nolte. Yeah, right yeah, now. totally, totally. That's Cannery amazing. Row. <laughs> That's funny. Remind me of Red Fox a little bit too, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, well, yeah, Fox. sure. Like, uh, um, that's the, you so ugly. I'll press your face and throw it and make gorilla cookies. Yeah. Well, gorilla cookies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's Mor good. I do a Morgan Freeman. Oh, yeah, please. Um, Tell us about, talk about the Andy. weed you've been smoking today, Morgan. <laughs> today, the weed that I was smoking <laughs> is a wonderful sativa <laughs> grown here locally in California. <laughs> Strawberry banana is the name of the strain. <laughs> <laughs> it's like parts of the papers, too. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard, the, wait, what is it, what somebody, I, I forget what somebody was saying. Um, uh, I once ate penguin. It was in Atlanta. <laughs> it tasted just like chicken. <laughs> Okay, um, have you seen this guy, uh, uh, Ross, I want to say his name right, Marquand on uh, Yeah, he's Twitter. got some, he's got some. That, he's that, got that rapid fire where they're yeah. all just weird things. Yeah, but those are, there's some really, there's some really great there's stuff There's some in laugh there. out loud ones. Yeah. There's like some just the, the, he nails the, just such a little the Kevin thing. Spacey yeah. <laughs> interrupting the good. audition was perfect. <laughs> what that movie was did he perfect. say it was? Oh, oh that God. was funny too. Some like... sequel. For, for, oh my God, I can't remember, it but was it was great. brilliant. There's so much fun. I mean, he's invented a new form of impressions because <laughs> why wouldn't anybody want now to try it? Yeah. You know, mm. especially when you sort of make a noise and then you realize it sounds like something Who's uh, the, some, like I love the one. Uh, who's the English? I love the one Al Pacino trying to get a straw in his mouth. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Just, it's like just like already you're in because it's Al Pacino yeah, trying to get a straw yeah. in his mouth. So all he has to do is grumble a little who's bit. The, who's the English uh, action star? The the guy. Yeah. Statham or yes, the yeah, James, his, Statham. His, his, his Jason Statham. Was what does he do? What happens to Jason? I forget, yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's oh you know, god, really, really funny. So I came up with one, and I think he priority does walking, but I came up with a walking one. This is Christopher Walken finding out that his flight's been canceled. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm go, I want to go back to, to Morgan Freeman. I can I can do okay. Morgan Freeman doing Mandela. Okay. The state of South Africa is very, very important. You see, we need to get everyone together. Yes. So we must this is play who this doing game. Who? Yeah. So Which was those? Remember, was, did you ever see that? Movie? That was Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman doing Mandela. All right, because he I'm did that you, in a movie? movie. You didn't yeah. see the I fucking see the movie. Come on, <laughs> come on, guys. You're killing me. <laughs> That was all for naught. All right. Well, we got to take a break here in a second. We will definitely be back with more guys don't wear hats, generally disruptive weasel hijacking, grabbing ducks wearing hats. <laughs> what? Gorilla don't wash hands. Do you want to say this one? Gesturing dram dramatically within Hogwarts. Yeah. Those are all uh, alternate titles for this show. <laughs> Because uh, it's the same initials. Ah. Uh, see? see? Yes. Isn't that fun? It's all right. <laughs> we, like to, <laughs> we like to educate here in this basement. Yes. Uh, 
information that's absolutely useless out uh, at once you leave here. Um, did you see the offices over there when you came in? Mm -hmm. like, isn't it funny how we're just in the corner of an office building? Yeah. And yeah. the people that work there are so cool. Like most of them sit on balls. Really? Yeah, you, you know what I mean? There's a lot of desks where their, their chair is just There's a big a ball, round ball and, and they, they sit on and it. And they work their core all day. When I say most of them, I probably saw one guy doing it, but <laughs> seems seems like, it reminds me of, did you ever, did you ever watch that show 30 something? where they worked at a uh, advertising agency. And so they'd be spitballing in their office and shooting baskets, and little, <laughs> little Nerf baskets. Yeah. And the, the whole place was kind of open, you know, and everybody, that's what this place reminds me of. Okay. Great story, Doug. <laughs> John DiMaggio, why does it say right here under uh, the plugs? Because Open Mike Eagle's got a ton of plugs that I'm gonna do in a minute, but uh, you just, you're, just says no plugs. I, I, um, I you got, you signed just, some NDAs. Nothing going on? <laughs> so I, I've signed some NDAs. Like oh, that kind of thing. He's going to be the voice of a robot in Star Wars 8. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> and we'll be right back after this break. I'm Dan Levy and I'm the host of Baby Talk. What is Baby Talk? I'll tell you. It's a show where I take my comedian friends and bring them together with little children and a bunch of weird shit happens. And I'm DJ Jensen Carp. You see, for the past three years, we've been doing a live show over at the Meltdown Theater in Los Angeles. And we thought, hmm, how can we make less money? Let's put it on the internet. So we've taken our strangest kids from the live show and paired them with our favorite broken comedians, and we filmed nine episodes for you to watch online. It's an original show that seems very similar to Kids Say a Darnest Things because it is very similar to Kids Say the Darnest Things. And you're gonna love the show, even if you hate kids, especially if you hate kids. Have fun watching, it's very funny. Well, if you remember, we saw you, I think, three weeks after I gave birth yes. at a wedding. Yeah, it was not, and you were not <laughs> yeah. great then. You I barely remember great. that. Yeah, <laughs> like the first two months have been erased from existence. Like I was been in a coma, but the coma was just dealing with a two month baby, yeah. yeah. And I saw people, you didn't do this, you were so sweet, but I saw people, I couldn't stop talking, I just couldn't stop talking. And I saw people at that wedding back away from me. <laughs> I'm not ready to be out with people. <laughs> Jason, do you see them less? Well, it's it's interesting. I will say this. My life, uh, relatively un unaffected by their baby. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Get It Done with High. That. Jumbo. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I love it. 2,400 viewers were up uh, uh. some 670 viewers, something like that. Very exciting. And uh, you could see Open Mike Eagle with Serengeti Dave mm -hmm. uh, in Chicago on February 18th, Madison, Wisconsin, February 19th. Can I guess the venue in Madison? You can guess it, but I might not know the answer. Okay, forget it then. <laughs> uh, Milwaukee on February 20th and Minneapolis on February 21. That is a cold tour. Yeah, it cold, is. cold tour. We just came from Europe this week, though, so we, we're used to free. Okay. Suffering for your art tour. Mm -hmm. Go to MikeEagle.net for the uh, all the deets. And uh, see him at the Riot Comedy Fest this very weekend in Los Angeles. Yeah, please. With our, our friend, previous guest, uh, Baron Vaughn. You have a show together. Yeah, yeah, we have a show we've been doing at UCB and we're doing it here at Riot Fest. What's that called? It's called The New Negroes. I thought so. It says, <laughs> it says so on the card, but I prefer you right. to say it. <laughs> Not pranking you. What are you two Negroes, Negroes doing downtown? <laughs> 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 when you put it that way, right. yeah. Yeah. you got to pull that one out. Yeah, oh. a... So dumb. I'm going to be in uh, Texas this weekend. I'm, I'm playing this uh, LOL comedy club in San Antonio uh, on Saturday at 420. And then um, I've got a show coming up February 25th in Fort Lauderdale, Florida at the Improv. At the uh, in that swamp where the uh, Hard Rock is, and then uh, March 24th, I'm in San Jose at the beautiful uh, Improv. It's a big like theater-sized cool. club, uh, and all my dates are at DougLovesMovies.com. And are you guys uh, feeling good and high? Did you get, yeah, a, did yeah, you get a good, I'm get good. a real good high going? Yes. All right. So now is the part of the show where we ask you to uh, watch a magic trick. It's Ooh, game time. Yes. Hey guys. I'm very excited about this. 
All right, cool. So I've got 52 cards here, standard deck. And John, I'm gonna have you help me out. Just reach out and tap a card. Take it out for me, actually. All right. Show it to the mic, show it to the camera. Perfect, place it back in the deck. Now we have this Rasta covered, colored ashtray here. Mm -hmm. that, uh, Mike, would you mind taking that for me off the table? I'll hand it to you. I play something in there before the show. If you just open that up. It's a card. Just show everybody. Yeah. Boom. Oh. Yeah. You just See, got you Pokeballed. Magic! That's a Pokeball for, uh, it's really great for like uh, clearing your bowls. Here, I'll show you how, uh, how we work that. We got a, a little deal going with them where people, the fans of this ah, show. Ah, fucking genius. A, uh, <laughs> right, it's a good wow. item. There you go. Yeah, and it's just, Gabe likes to incorporate things that just are out, out in our world here in, with that was great. magic. I was at the Magic Castle yesterday. You did? Yeah, I was there yesterday. This is like the most magical two days of my life. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. This is the most magic you've seen probably that's this pretty, close to you, right? That's awesome. Did yeah, you go yeah. in the close-up room at the Magic Castle? No, we we went. No, we tried to do that. We picked the wrong line, uh, and then and then we got sleepy. Yeah, we saw like the, the show in the main room, and then did you go to the piano and ask for requests? No. No, I didn't do that either. Oh, is really? that what people do? See, we, oh, didn't, yeah. we didn't really know what people do there. We just knew it was a place. So right. we just went and ate and watched people do You put magic. a tie on? I had to, right? Yeah. That's the rules. Yeah. That's the rules. Yeah, you got to wear a suit. Yeah, it's crazy. Suit, yeah. suit jacket. That's why so. I never go anymore. I, I put a suit together. I look <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually do that, you know? <laughs> uh, speaking of crazy, we sell mugs for $28. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's what's shipping and everything, right? But still, it's ridiculous. Uh, not this mug, though. We got to get Chameleon Glass to uh, make some of these for us. But T-shirts, blue cards, cards for high manity, I like to call them. Uh, check it out at bit.ly slash Doug Merch. Subscribe and like. Do you see how floppy the uh, cards are this week? The uh, the regular cards couldn't make it this week. So, <laughs> so we'll have less floppy ones next week. Pokeball, we already talked about. Pokeball.com, get a 10% discount if you use the promo code. Oh, God. Doug loves movies. You movie. didn't have to make one up. Doug, it's just Doug. No, it's Doug. No, getting Doug with high 420. I just realized as I was doing it, he's got to guess what my promo I'm, code is. I'm like, is, I forgot. But no, but I Doug. just told it. Is it Doug? Yeah, it's Doug. Shut but up. I also would have taken, I would have <laughs> laughed if you'd said Jumbo again. <laughs> Jumbo. <laughs> uh, our next show is TBD, as we like to say, uh, <laughs> because we gotta, you know, round up some guests. But like, uh, I feel like I should drop some names that are circling their wagons so that people can maybe push them one way or another. Robin Thick might come on the program. Really? Maybe. <laughs> uh, peaches, you know peaches? Sure, teaches, teaches with uh, the teaches of peaches. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, peaches might show up. Peaches. Um, looks like Ron Funches is going to come back again Yay. soon. He's Ron's a favorite, a buddy, of course. Man. Policewoman's uh, Angie Dickinson is going to be here. Hannibal Barres is a no go. Really? Yeah, yeah, because he, he doesn't. Uh, he he's like a hit at the end of the night kind of right, pot smoker, right, 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 right. so he thinks it would ruin his evening or day or whatever. Um, wait, there was another really good one that I was excited about. That oh, uh, uh, Jay Sanders Sekar might come back, and oh. also he's been on a couple times. But we also might drag in some more of the uh, broken lizard guys. So all that's potentially coming up on a, on a day and time to be determined soon. Just check the YouTube page and. Thank you again to Open Mike Eagle and John DiMaggio. Thank you, that's, you Doug. that's easily one of the most fun times I've had doing doing this. Yeah, yeah, that was a real fun one. I want to see. I'm you entertained smoke by your antics. This is this is crazy, right? It's uh, it doesn't have any beverage in it because no, uh, but that's just you know that's ridiculous. just showing off. But uh, I'm a, I was gonna sign off by taking a, a hit after this baby. I put my mouth in the wrong place. <laughs>
That, I wouldn't mind that if that if you covered that and hit it and all the smoke just came in here and you're just whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought it was. You got to you just put, fucking steamroll it. No, it's like <laughs> it's it's just like this. It's the I see. The pipes. Gonna, I got it. Uh, jumbo. Oh, that is a jumbo. Jesus. That's a. It's very hard to clear. <laughs> you get a nice little milky bottom, <laughs> as we say. <laughs> well, it's a technical term. <laughs> oh my God! That's what she said. Too soon. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> thanks, everybody. We'll see you as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs>